Hello? Hi, this is Heidi with 22nd Century Trucking. Is this Sean? Uh, yes, Heidi. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. And yourself, sir? I am fine. Thank you. Thank you. So, okay. So, the name of the company is 22nd Century? Century Trucking. Yeah. How did you, you called in or uh, how did you hear about us? Uh, y'all, y'all, uh, ad came through the Facebook post. Facebook? Okay. So, we need to fix that because your call should be coming through my phone. Okay, we uh, fixed it, but well, it didn't maybe no, stay. Well, well, no, some I was speaking with someone in the uh, in the messenger, yeah. and they gave me they they gave me the phone number to Riri, whoever they was. Somebody in Messenger gave uh, you her number. Okay, we'll have to find out who is the one responding in Facebook so they can get that updated because it'd be me. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that, she's that, not in recruiting anymore. She's still here, but she's she's moved into a different position. So, okay, that's that, what we're just trying to fix it, so she don't get bothered either, you know, so she can focus on her new position as well. But, all right, so that's perfect. What's, okay, that's what's up. Well, I want to apologize beforehand because I am in a rural area and my uh, and my signal so if is it going, yeah if it goes up and down <laughs> and all that good stuff so i guess i'll just uh make uh -huh. this i make this pretty quick because whoever i was talking to pretty much answered some of my questions in the uh in the facebook group but uh i'll go ahead and reiterate on the questions that i got uh can you tell me a little bit more about the company and what you guys have to offer are you looking at lease purchase or company driver uh we could talk about both of them but company driver. Okay. Company driver um, is 60 cents all miles, uh, empty and loaded, and it's uh, address to address. And you're paid weekly. Okay. Okay. What about now? What now? What about lease? What, what, what you guys got to offer on the lease side? A lease is uh, between our tractors and our fleet are, uh, Three years or newer, and you're looking at a six seventy five to eight fifty for a tractor payment plus your deductions. But you have to have a twenty five hundred dollars down in order to get into a lease from the get go. If you don't, you'd have to be company for ninety days, and then you can go lease purchase. Okay, what what what, what would be the pay for a lease driver? Is that percentage or is that uh eighty five percent? So that's eighty five percent. Okay. But for a company for uh for a company driver, you guys start it doesn't matter to does it matter how, how doesn't matter if you have two years or forty yeah. years. It's sixty cents a mile. Okay, yep. so sixty cent a mile, so on average That's more than most companies because our drivers are getting three to thirty five hundred miles a week, give or take. Yep. And yeah. you're paid weekly. Yeah, I so usually the, two weeks ago a company driver um, got paid nineteen hundred dollars and eleven cents. He must be ten ninety nine because no taxes were taken out. Okay, usually, a lease purchase was paid twenty six. Go ahead. Usually, I usually I go on the low end as far as uh you know as far as miles go because there's really no guarantee that I that I would get three thousand plus miles a week. Uh, usually, I our drivers are not complaining and they're not leaving. We're, we lost a driver before I started because we were. We we're giving them too many miles. So oh, okay. one driver in five weeks. That's my fifth week. I've been in trucking 17 years. So uh, if that was the case, then they would just need to go to those ones that are losing drivers because they're not getting miles. They just weren't a fit for our company. Nothing wrong with that. They're just a turtle on 400 miles a day or less. Who knows? But you know what? We keep our drivers moving. 30% of our freight is drop and hook. So um, if you want the miles, they're there. The oh, dispatchers... Okay. They get paid on your production, on your production, not by just a salary. They get paid on how their drivers perform. So oh. tell me if they're going to not get you three to thirty-five, if not more miles a week. What? I highly unlikely, unless you're not going to be doing those miles. Then, if you're a driver that does four hundred miles a day, because when they talk to you, they ask you what kind of driver you are. If you say I'm a driver who runs my my, my hours to the fullest, if I can do six hundred more, I'll do it. But if my hours don't allow me to, then, of course, I'd run my hours to the max. Okay. Then they're going to know what kind of driver you are. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's that's what's up. That's what's up. And like I said, yeah. I, I just yeah. use I, I just use the uh, I just use like the minimum amount of miles anywhere between 25 and 28. Not me. So, you know, that's how no, I, that's on the low side. 
Yeah, that's why I that's said that's what I, Yeah, that's what I use. I uh, as far as you know, when I when I calculate how much mm-hmm. I will, how much I will bring home a year. Um, all right. Mm-hmm. So with that said, um, how many how many years or how much experience do you guys require? Two years. Okay, two years. Okay. How long have you had your class A? I've been driving for six. Six years, and how's your MVR? My MVR is perfect. I can't, I, I, I can't speak for I can't speak for other drivers uh, because of the information that I'm we, gathering. We get to pick our drivers, so yeah. I'm going to tell you we pick the ones that have flawless versus the oh my's. We don't have to take everybody that applies with us. We get to choose. That's, that's the benefit of this company. That's under, that's, yeah. that's understandable. Yeah. Uh, what type of mm-hmm. what what type of benefits do you guys offer? Uh, right now, we just have health, um, but I'm told that we're looking at health, dental, and vision to offer our company owner operators and lease purchase. And I think they're looking at Blue Cross Blue Shield. Do I have any other details? No, but in the next couple of weeks, we should know something. But we do offer health right now, and the company will pay half for the employee only. So okay. it'd be like rounding it up to twenty. Mm-hmm. All right. So for lease, of course, for lease drivers, they got to find their own uh, benefit package as nope, well. As- I, nope. It, nope. Nope. I just told you we are uh, we offered owner operators, lease purchase and company. Oh, OK. OK. But this, this is the first company in my 17 years that we offered to owner operators, lease purchase. Yeah, but that's that's only on any other company. And they don't pay. Yeah, that that's only on health, though. Right. I mean, you, you don't offer. You that's don't all offer we dental. offer. That's all we offer at the yeah. moment. Yeah. Y'all don't y'all don't offer dental or vision. That means I would have to find. No, nope. I, I would have to find my sure. own dental and vision plan. OK. Sure. OK. Yep. All right. Anybody uh, would here, even myself. OK. Mm-hmm. Um. All right. So if a driver. uh, Request. Well, let me ask you this. What uh what lanes do you guys have available? Do you guys got regional all forty eight? All forty eight. Yep, I can send you a message via text. Oh, okay. So all forty. So all forty eight that you guys run. So if a driver do prefer to be home, say every t- fourteen days is when you can go home. That's as soon as you can go home is every fourteen days, with one day for every week. Oh, okay. 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 Of course, we could take the trucks home. Of course. Oh, of course. We have a terminal in Woodridge, Illinois, and then we have a yard in Phoenix, Arizona. Okay. Okay. What, so, speak, um, speaking of trucks, what what kind of equipment that you guys offer and what's there? Yeah, we have covering? Volvo 760s. Um, we have Volvo 760s. We have um, Peterbilt 579s. We have Freightliner Cascadias. And then we have some Max. All of them are automatic, all governed at 71, all have an inverter, all have a refrigerator, all have a microwave. Awesome. Driver facing camera? Outward only. All right. All right. Uh being that you guys run all 48, do is this like a is this like a force dispatch to go up in the northeast? No. Is there any, no. Is there any extra pay for running in the northeast? No. Why would we? No, um, we don't force dispatch. Second of all, we wouldn't pay. I've never worked for a company where we pay you extra to go to Northeast. That's crazy. Um, we pay higher than where I worked uh, for nine years, a flatbed heavy haul company where they throw tarps and straps and binders. And that guy that I know, uh, one of my uh, people I used to dispatch when I was dispatching, first, no, You're, it's one of the highest paid companies. Um, and then we also follow up with the miles but no it will go as far as pa new jersey but if you don't want to go to new york for example sean you can say i don't want to go to new york if you don't want to go to new jersey you can say i don't want to go to new jersey okay now i do have that makes sense that makes makes sense but i I, I, you just peeped my question why do you feel that we should not get paid extra for going in the northeast and there are some companies that do pay extra. why do you think we should why do you think we should? I'm just no. I'm I'm I, I'm asking you because you because I I think we're paying sixty cents per mile. That's pretty good. If I worked at a company for nine years and they're still paying a driver who's been there ten years fifty eight cents and he's picking up a hundred pound tarps and doing straps 
and securing loads and you guys open a door and you think you need more money than he would? Mm. I think uh, dry van for a dry van company paying 60 cents a mile and we're not using PC short miles like most companies do. We're paying address to address legit miles. That's huge. A lot of, a, a lot of drivers are not keen on going in the Northeast, but you already mentioned that they don't have to go up there anyway, but for companies that do offer, uh, extra pay i think it's kind of good because a lot of a lot a handful of drivers don't like to go up in the northeast considering the considering There's the congestion traffic going into going into narrow uh narrow roads and well, all that new jersey is horrible yeah. i've been there i traveled to see customers there and i'm like bless those drivers that we have that go into new jersey and pick up those cable rails because just where they back up the trailer you couldn't even fit shoe in between barely it was exactly. that tight it's crazy so bless you guys for being able to do what you do all right is there mm -hmm. some, uh is my last question is is there a sign on bonus no no all right mm -mm. but we have a loyalty bonus like if you've been every year that you're here you get a one week paid vacation uh, uh and that's based on your productivity for the year all a right percentage of that so yeah. All right. All right. And we do offer like on DOT inspections, you know, like if you pass a level one, it's $500, et cetera. But our CSA score is pretty flawless. So we try to keep and hire that way. All right. Well, I appreciate the time. Thank you very much. Do you have an email? I can, I can email you the information I just talked about and all the deductions as well in our, um, lease purchase, et cetera, if you'd like. Uh, yeah, you can send it to lockout men. That's L O C K. O U T M E N at gmail dot com. Okay, I'm gonna read that back to you just real quick here. So lock out L O C K O U T M E N at gmail dot yep. yep. Okay, I, I'll get that over to you, Sean. If I, you have any questions, let me know, okay? I appreciate that. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Drive safe, sir. Have I a good will. day. Bye bye.